Hey guys, I'm Chase Tobin with Contact Industries, and today we're going to be discussing five tips when determining cover and concealment. So the first thing we have to do is define what cover and concealment is. In any type of gunfight, you want to optimize your cover and your concealment. So what is it? Cover is defined by any object that is going to actually uh, stop rounds from penetrating and getting into your body. Concealment is just going to prevent your observation. So the idea is for us to be able to optimize both. So when you're trying to maximize your cover and concealment, and if you're gonna use it on a, in a training application, you have to find the right barricade that makes sense for that. So for example, if this is a, uh, a wall, let's just say, and our, and our threat is downrange, that we have this uh, this barricade here. It's actually, if, if this was a, a wall, it's going to stop round. So not only am I covered, but I'm also concealed from enemy uh, visibility. So at this point, it's covered my entire body. I'm protected fully. So another thing you have to, to determine when you've got barricades is your positioning. So how can I engage the enemy? If I've got cutouts like we've got in our, in our wall here, how do I get in here and get into the gunfight this way? If I have to get on the side, maintain position over here. We don't want to be really bladed and get off balance. You want to stay a proper shooting uh, stance and be able to engage the enemy that way. If you have to transition to the other side, weak side, same kind of deal. You've got your barricade and you can do the same thing on this side and get into the fight. Lots of uh, ways to maximize your cover and concealment there. Another thing, you have to know what types of wall this is. If it's drywall, it's not gonna do us any good. Maybe that's concealment, but that's not actually covered, but you can still use that to your advantage if you're going to say, if you're gonna make uh, entry around here and then get into the fight this way. It's just another uh, consideration for using cover and concealment. Say if we drop the drop the wall this way. And so now I have to get into the fight here. Maybe I have to get down a little bit on a, in a kneeling platform. Or if I'm down on the ground and I gotta get down in the prone, can I fire this way? So again, this video is not designed to make you an expert shooter by any means. If you've got a tactical training operator or somebody that you uh, you're focus your efforts on with that, introduce them to this system. How can that make your training even better? And the idea is to not just practice on the barricade, but you want to practice consistently and put all those fundamentals into play if, if and when you're an operator, you get yourself into a gunfight. All right, so to recap, the five major tips are, number one, finding the right barricade to optimize your cover and concealment. Number two is maintaining the proper body position on the barricade. Number three, maintaining the proper points of contact when you approach the barricade and are firing from the barricade. Number four is your proper rifle handling. And number five is your practice and your consistency over time. All right, guys, so that was the five tips for optimizing your cover and concealment using the Contact Training Barricade System. If you want more information about this, please reach out to us at info at I'm Chase Tobin. Thank you for watching.